before you make the first cut on the laser, you have to purge the system, and there's two steps to do that. We have to purge the low pressure pump and then the high pressure pump. You'll add about 15 gallons of water to bring the water level right up to the cut surface. If you haven't already, go ahead and turn the water on. And turn the machine on with the switch below the right side. Finally, turn the e-stop button off by twisting it and so that it pops up and then the laser computer will come on. So let's go to the setup and maintenance and then press OK and then press OK again to get into the maintenance and then used abrasive collect. That's actually the program that will turn on the low pressure pump. And what the low pressure pump does is if we remove this little panel here, you'll see the two abrasive collection bins. And when you turn on that used abrasive collect, it will pump water from the main cutting area through these collection bins and all the sediments would drop out into those bins. As soon as you see water coming out of all four jets, you can turn it off. We're just trying to get air out of the system, that's all. Next, we're going to uh, prime the high pressure system. So the first step is to remove the abrasive feed hose. That's a very important step. They make that very clear in the instructions. And then just twist the knob. This will allow, and just like loosen it like a screw and that will allow you to slide the cutting head up and then just lightly tighten it down so that it stays up. And now we can close the lid. We're going to be watching for um, the whatever air water mixture is gonna initially come out of the cutting head and we're gonna run the program until there's only water flowing. So let's back up a little bit using the back arrow and then go to input and output check and then go to output check. And the one we want is the high pressure valve. Okay, so we can press OK, and then it tells us, again, to remove that abrasive, the abrasive tube, which we did that. Now when we press OK, so you can see there's water coming out of the cutting head, and there was we've got all the air out. So I'm going to just go ahead and run that again just to see that high-pressure valve. You know what, I still hear some air and there's a lot of foaming, so I'm just going to keep running this until it's silent because the air makes a lot of noise. Oh, there was quite a bit of air in my water line, so I had to run the HP valve program about 20 times. But now you can see it is pretty much just a jet of water. With the pumps primed, we're ready to start the initial cut. So hit the button to select a file and then arrow down to welcomecut.gcode and yes, prepare the machine. Now you wanna, if you check your nozzle to see if you have to lift it. Now we press okay and it will home the machine. Now on this screen, we see some information loaded in from the cut file, the material, the thickness, and the estimated cut time. Go ahead and press OK. And then it says fill hopper uh, and empty the used abrasive. We'll open up the laser abrasive. Make sure you filter the abrasive through these screens. With the abrasive filled, we can move on to the next step, which is confirming that the water supply is on, and it indeed is, and that the material is fastened. That's all good. And now we can set the nozzle height. So to set the nozzle height, this is the tool that just sits right up here. And the height 
of the correct height of the nozzle is the thickness of that little tab. So just loosen and drop the nozzle and then tighten once it's sitting on that tab. And now we can okay to the next step. Here we see some options. The first one is cut material to go ahead and run the program. Or we can do a dry run or check the cut extents. Let's check the cut extents. So that just draws a bounding box around the area which the program will be operating in. Another good thing to do is to do a dry run before initiating the actual cutting, uh, just to make sure it's another. We'll do our first cut. This time, press the flashing start stop button instead of OK. Is complete and we'll press OK. All right, let's take a look at it. All right so this part was eighth inch aluminum and uh, here it is. Bottle opener, very cool. Well that looks really cool. I'll notice that on the outer profile we have a lead-in little nub here and there's nothing like that on the internal profiles because I guess it can start it can start in the center of the part that's going to be removed and then move to the profile and cut around. Um, so on outer profiles, maybe that's something that we'll see. And I will say that the the entire cut took well a little bit longer than I was expecting. Um, that. Let's see, it was maybe 25, 30 minutes for this part here. And of course I hope to play around with thicker materials and harder materials than this. I started with the abrasive buckets full and I'd say it used about two or three scoopfuls, two or three cups of abrasive for that part. The next thing I was curious about uh, is what would happen to this cardboard cut bed after it was cut and you can see that it looks like it I mean it took quite a bit away uh, I don't know if it cut all the way through but it certainly uh, cut from what I can see half an inch maybe an inch deep into the cut bed and now there's slices through it so I mean you could still use that area um, because you're laying a flat sheet down on it and there just needs to be material underneath to support it. But I guess that will, I mean, that's why they give you several of them, so. And well, that is the first cut on the Wazer.